The University of New South Wales has committed $500 million to add to the massive contribution of the State Health Department to build this substantial medical precinct. The University's contribution will ensure that we're well represented in terms of teaching, research and our own clinical activities. For 60 years, the University has wished to be more closely aligned with medical health and medical delivery at Randwick and this precinct is the golden opportunity to make that happen. What makes this precinct different is the bringing together of multidisciplinary people and teams. So we'll have clinicians meeting with engineers and technologists, with entrepreneurs and anthropologists, and we'll have co-design which will allow us to come up with the best ideas. This precinct will be different because it will concentrate in a very small area Medicine related to adults, children, women and mental health aligned with the University of New South Wales major biomedical programs. The precinct will have a huge impact on students and their learning outcomes. When you can facilitate greater collaboration between educational and clinical spaces, it means that students can take theoretical things that they're learning and apply them to a real person in a clinical scenario, which is fantastic for their learning, but also really great as a reminder that patients are people first and not just a constellation of symptoms or conditions. We'll have co-design space with industry, which will allow this close interaction and development of these technologies in such a way that it won't be a technology push but it'll be a clinical pool. It'll be technologies that meet patient and clinician needs. UNSW just got put in the top 50 uh, medical schools in the world again, but this project shows that we don't just sit on our laurels. It's a really ambitious institution that's looking to embrace cutting edge collaboration and research, but also to make a really meaningful and tangible impact to the health of our community.